Hello students, in this video we will uh, do one example related to adding perpendicular vectors. Uh, again, let us revise the directions. North and south, east and west. Okay. Uh, as you know from your uh, previous studies, perpendicular vectors means uh, vectors that make 90 degrees. Uh, so, uh, if you take a look at the coordinate uh, system or the directions, you can see that the north and the east directions are perpendicular. They make 90 degrees. This goes again also for the north and the west. This is true for the north and the west. Also for the west and the south. West and south are perpendicular. South and east are perpendicular. So if you have two vectors that are perpendicular, like in my example here, I have F1 is 3 newton toward the north, and 7 in F2 is 7 in newton toward the west. So one is acting north, and the other one is acting west. So for sure, they are perpendicular. Uh, adding perpendicular vectors uh, actually is very simple. You can directly, as first step, apply the Pythagorean theorem. So step one, apply the Pythagorean theorem. So you will find F net. Here there are two forces. Or the resultant, you can name it R, no problem, will be radical 3 squared plus 7 squared. So here we are, we are applying the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, try to find the answer. You will get 7.62 uh, Newton. This is the magnitude of the resultant vector. But all the time to describe the vector completely, we need to mention the angle. For the angle, I do tan inverse the y over the x or the vertical vector over the horizontal vector so tan inverse the vertical one for sure is the north the one pointing toward the north which is three and the uh, horizontal vector or the vector along the x-axis or the horizontal direction will be seven so you will do on your calculator shift tan three divided by seven and this will give you the angle uh, it is 23 point two degrees now this angle is not from the x-axis to find the angle from the positive x-axis you need to uh, uh, use the quadrant rule since we are between the north and the west so we will be in the uh, second quadrant so i will apply theta here on the side i can remind you again with the quadrant rule theta 180 minus theta 180 plus theta and 360 minus theta. So here we, will be, uh, we are between the north and the west. So we are somewhere here. The vector F net is pointing here. So uh, theta from positive x axis will be 180 minus the absolute value of 23.2, which will give you approximately uh, 156 degrees. So my uh, vector or F net will be pointing here at an angle of 156 degrees from the positive x-axis.